Summer, I originally went to Hudson Street today to cover the closure of the Hudson Hill Center. I was about to interview a man about the center when neighbors approached me with some pretty disturbing information. I got a 15 years old daughter and he stands there. He'd be in the middle of the field at night and they terrify of him. Neighbors in this West Savannah community say a convicted child sex offender is unlawfully living in their neighborhood and lurking around their community park. And as you can see from this picture, I unknowingly came face to face with the man they are talking about. The man approached me to talk about the Hudson Hill Center. We talked and I asked if I could interview him on camera about the center. He said yes and walked back to a home across the street to change his shirt. So when I see them talking to you, that's when I say I'm going to wait and let you know what's going on. While the man was in the home, multiple women approached me and told me who he was. They say his name is James Stiles. According to the Chatham County Sex Offender Registry list, Stiles is a registered sex offender with a Bloomingdale address. Neighbors say he has not been living at that Bloomingdale address. They say he's been living here on Hudson Street. Yes, he go through the back all the time. You see him come through the back. Authorities say sex offenders must live where they are registered. We immediately called Chatham County Sheriff's Office about what happened. They came to the home and searched around the outside. Stiles was not there. Authorities asked neighbors to let them know when they see Styles again. Neighbors are fed up. Something needs to be done about not being mean and nasty, but it's the safety of the kids. And the woman I talked with says Styles talks to their kids. She said he's crazy. He came to say, hey, I want to get up an organization for, 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 for girls, for kids. A nonprofit organization for kids. And According to Styles' sex offender registration, Styles was charged with the rape of a child under the age of 16 in 2000. Authorities say they are investigating all that happened today and won't comment on anything. But coming up in the second half hour, I'll let you know just how many sex offenders are here in Chatham County, along with information on how you can find out if a sex offender is in your neighborhood. Reporting live here at the Chatham County Sheriff's Office, Caitlin Penner, Fox 28 News at 10. All right, Caitlin, thank you so much. Now, a registered